you know, it's just depend what is reimbursed and not in our country or if there are some clinical trials available, then we always trying to enroll patients to clinical trials. So answering the question, we are unfortunately very conservative. So still uh, use uh, RCD or DCR, uh, DRC as the first line usually. Uh, Ibrutinic uh, uh, coming, but it's still not uh, approved, so we have to ask for permission uh, uh, you know insurance company in individual basis so we're trying to do it and we are usually successful there are uh, a lot of new drugs especially you know second third uh, even maybe fourth generation of uh, uh, btk inhibitors uh, also coming the next generation of bcl2 inhibitors so uh, you know we still don't know exactly uh, how this new uh, version of uh, original drug will influence the uh, prognosis of our patients. Some of them seems very promising. Uh, I personally do believe that we really need to do as we, uh, as we did in other diagnoses, adding BCL2 inhibitor. We significantly improve rate of complete remission or deepness of remission for example in CLL by also others so I think we have to do uh, 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 follow this strategy also in Waldenstrom despite its indolent disease so I do believe we have to use this combination to achieve deep remission as, as, as usually achieved by current available drugs.